Hey guys, welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be discussing the Catholic Church. Now I do not have anything against Catholics whatsoever. I was born a Catholic myself, now born again Christian. I went through a series of life changing events which has woke me up. I've completed my spiritual awakening and um, now I'm, I've been turned back towards God and Jesus, in which I have been lost from um, for most of my life, actually. Um, if you just look at the picture here, you see... Now, somebody could probably shed some light on it for me. I don't know what it is, but it just looks demonic, um, really, to me. Um, now, this is not the only reason. These pictures are not the only reasons why I think the Catholic Church is... Um, is a fake religion. I've I, I believe that I've received some science within dreams, which I'll get into in another video as well about dreaming and keeping a diary of your dreams. But um, uh, there's a lot of stuff when you actually research the Catholic Church, which I do advise to everybody to look into themselves. You will see um, you will see a lot of shock and stuff. But this, I just it's completely demonic, I think, and it's completely unnecessary. Um, like the, the money that's being put into the Catholic Church is ridiculous and unnecessary. We didn't see Jesus going around with um with gold crowns or anything like that walking around um with with his followers, you know. Um here if if you read there, thou shall not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth. So he's telling us that we should not make any image of anything that should be above or below. And we see there just the Pope, Pope Francis, um, kissing and worshipping an image, in which they always do, actually. I was going to a few masses in the Catholic Church, and they always seem to worship an image, like a cross, kissing the cross and raising it up to the sky to be blessed. And so um, and, and all the, the statues of Mary and stuff like that that they have in around. So... They've created this image that they were told not to, um, which was in the Bible. So if they were really following religion, and they, they, they would be following the Bible. So, you know, they wouldn't have all these images created. Uh, like, again, like one of the lay popes there, you see a statue of him. And people are bowing down and praying and worshipping this image, probably asking for miracles and blessings and stuff. Um, again, there, Mary as well. And if you pay it, if you, if you actually look at the Bible, and you, you you carry on to read about Mary. Uh, she went on to have four other children as well, it says in the Bible. She carried out the rest of her life, and she was actually a sinner herself. So we're not meant to pray for Mary. It says that we shouldn't be praying to any saints or, or Mary. You should be only praying to the Lord Jesus and God. Um, just at the top there, you'll see, You shall make you no idols, no graven image. Neither rear you up a standing image. Neither shall you set up any image of stone in your land to bow down unto it. For I am the Lord, your God. So again, it's just telling us in the Bible that again, we shouldn't be making any image at all, any statues and putting them up in their land, in which the Catholic Church always actually does. Uh, the Pope there again, being being worshipped um, in his golden throne with golden hat, golden cloak, big cane, being kissed on the hand. This is not a worship. This, this is not the way Jesus uh, wanted us to, to worship him. Um, to follow him these are those guys that are just enjoying this free ride here um at the at, at the moment you know i don't think these guys have god's word at heart whatsoever at all this wasn't the image that was left behind for jesus for 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 us for christians and and whoever believes in god the lord jesus and god to follow him Again, you can see then, uh, just at the top, and the woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet colour, and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls, having a golden cup in her hand, full of abominations and filthiness of her fornication. Um, yeah, so look, it just stands straight out. That is the colour of the Catholic Church. Um, you'll find these in the book of Revelation as well. It talks about the mark of the beast. Um, it's very possible, and it really stands out to me, and I, I feel... Um, it's my own opinion on it that this mark of the beast this one world religion that's going to come out with a one world order is actually very well going to be the Catholic Church um, so it's the most powerful religion that we have going at the moment that has um, leaders and po like the popes you know in, in, in charge of it and a lot of followers so if they say something if the Pope stands up and on the top of his on the top of the stairs and in front of all these followers and audience um, if he tell if he tells them something they all actually very well believe him so they start changing faith 
right and going with whatever he says. So they depend on the and they hang on his word as well. So it's one of the most powerful religions that are actually in the world at the moment. And it's not being attacked actually, it's the Christians that are being attacked at the moment, the Christian churches, not the Catholic churches. I did my own research on it as well. If you see there at the top there, it says again, and here is the mind which has wisdom, the seven heads of seven mountains on which the woman sit. So they talk about the whore of Babylon, um, the woman of Babylon and Babylon itself. So like the seven hills there in Rome where the Vatican is. Um, again, look, I'm not saying it is. It's just my own research on top of it as well. Um, they describe that this the, the horror of Babylon, um, which could be very well the Vatican, the the Catholic Church. Um, that's where it's sitting at the moment. Um, yeah. So you you probably noticed as well that we always call um the priest in the Catholic religion father, and we were always taught that in school. Um, I've done it myself for years. Uh, every time you see a priest walking around or at church, you say, hello, Father, good morning, Father. And this is what we're taught to call them in school as well. Um, and there at the top from Matthew 23, 9, And call no man your father upon the earth, for one is your father which is in heaven. So again, it seems like going completely against the Bible's word um, again. So it's just, they just don't really seem to follow the Bible whatsoever, which is uh, actually very shocking. Uh, the, you know my words um, again at the top well, there's one God and there's one mediator between God and man and the man is Jesus Christ so there's only one mediator between God and and man which is Jesus Christ but then again we have Pope Francis saying that God instructed him to revise the Ten Commandments and he actually is he's um, looking to change the Ten Commandments to go with a more modern day life to accept more people of same sex parents um homosexuality give more grace to god's children so uh like this this just sounds like total bull to me to be honest these ten commandments were written in stone um, and no man no man were to change them no man can say he's communicating with god and to change the ten commandments so again this is the the church of the catholic religion that seems to be changing the word of god all the time constantly just to suit their needs and probably suit um, the one world agenda, the one world order, their agenda that it's going to be coming into play very soon, um, I believe. Um, again, uh, you just see the Illuminati, the all C and I, um, in the picture there up over the Vatican. Again, if you look at Pope Francis and you see the hand gestures and, and stuff like that, like that doesn't look like a man that is carrying the word of Lord, that he's in uh, the word of Lord, Lord, or that even cares about uh, God, Lord, the Bible, or his word. So this guy, as uh, so somebody that's put there that's just enjoying this free, free run, um, you know of of money and and worship you know it's just satanic worship um i believe that's happening there in the in the church at the moment um yeah sunday as well the holy day um for the catholic religion it was actually in the boy before saturday which is meant to be the sabbath day um again why was this changed the catholic church changed it to sunday so that's their worship day is sunday but originally was meant to be saturday in the bible um, if you see there at the top, he also forced everyone small and great, rich and poor, free and slave to receive a mark on his right hand or on his forehead. So this was in the book of Revelation and they're talking about the mark of the beast that everybody will be getting this mark of the beast, um, you know, and, and they'll be forced to follow um, for the Antichrist. And in, in, um, in the Catholic religion, they put a cross in the head. This is the mark Ash Wednesday. And Ash Wednesday was where Jesus was in the desert on a 40 day fast and he endured temptation from Satan and he turned Satan away. So this is a day now that, that you worship in the Catholic religion and you get a mark on the forehead now i'm not saying this cross is going to be the mark of the beast but it's just everybody just to be alert of what is happening you know um and, and just to be aware of the surroundings because we we don't know when this red when the antichrist is going to come upon us so it's just to be very aware and alert not to take any mark or bow down or, or being told to worship any one religion um, which I believe is going to be the Catholic Church. So look, just just have your faith in God and Jesus Christ, and you will be saved. Um, yeah, again with the One World Order. Um, a few photographs of the Pope, um, with Obama, Bush, Hillary Clinton, Bill Clinton. 
and we all know that these guys deceived us already so look we don't want to be deceived again so just pay attention to what's happening they've all have very good close relationships they all seem like they're against trump at the moment and they're not to get into politics but we don't know if it is all you know set up to look like this way then again maybe it's not so look it's just something to watch very closely at the moment as well uh, with the crosses as well, um, it's more of a pagan worship is to worship a cross. Now we we're not meant to worship crosses in the Bible. It doesn't speak of speak of a cross as a cross. They talk about it as a stake. So when you think about a one piece of wood laid out and another piece of wood going across, that was put together so they could actually hang them from it. Um, it wasn't necessarily meaning it was a cross. But why would we worship that as well? Again, it's worshiping an image that we're not meant to do. Um, and the sun cross actually if you see the second one there from the top the sun cross we always see like a round picture in behind Jesus um, like you know of a round cross or a sun that's sun worship which is Sunday um, so like that's a sun worship day so if you look up about sun worship as well as well as the, the Roman Emperor uh, Constantine I think that's how I pronounce his name he was um, he was a pagan you know and, and he converted uh, to, to, just before the war was happening he converted to say he was fighting the battle in the name of Jesus Christ so again um, I think this was more so to deceive us and stuff like that uh, so that was a sun worship day and we see all these images around everywhere of um, the Lord Jesus with the sun in, in, in behind his head but these images should not have been created to begin with as it says in the Bible uh, I, I think this is funny like it, it generally like you just look at that like that's just that's completely unnecessary that's where like all the money that's put into that all these followers and people being worshipped like we're meant to be just praying to the lord jesus and and god not worshiping these people going around in these fancy cars big gold hats and canes and and big thrones and stuff like these guys should not be in that position at all whatsoever these guys should not be listened to these guys should be ran out of that church um it's just it's just fake like this is no way and anybody that has read the bible or a, or a firm believer would know this is not the way to support god or jesus or his or his um or his work at all whatsoever so i just think these guys are just having a free ride um having a laugh and they seem to be changing the bible to suit their needs and it seems to be the religion of their church and not the religion of god um again you see news part newspaper articles where people have come out and they're saying that satan lives in the vatican uh, we can't say it's all true or not but you know there are some articles people are talking about it and stuff like that again we see the the RCNO, the illuminati oi that's in the vatican uh, actually some of that i watched which was very good i recommend it to everybody hostage to the devil um malachi martin he was um, an irish priest from limerick and he was carrying out exorcisms um and for in the vatican he was a member of the vatican um, but a lot of stuff, it's very interesting, he was trying to expose the, the, the Catholic religion church, you know, and, and you will see, just if you watch it, it's actually a very good watch, he was exposing a lot of things about what, what were going on, that there was evil in the Vatican, it's a very good watch, so I'd recommend people, if you, if you have time, to, to check that out, it was very good. Uh, just a few more images I put together as well, um, look, you've heard about all the paedophiles, the priests at the moment in the Catholic Church around Constance, so it, always, it just seems there's a lot of corruption involved with the Catholic Church, um, like the mark of the beast that they're doing there as well, the two, the, the two hands up against the eyes, which symbolises the number six. Um, again, we have Obama very happy there, very in there with the, with, with, with the Pope as usual. And yeah, guys, that's really it. These, these are my findings. Um, and the Catholic Church. Now, I believe I got a few signs to start looking into it within my dreams and stuff. As I said, I will make another video with um the media, you know, with dreams. Like people say, oh, it's just a dream. But when you think about it, what is just a dream? Nobody actually knows what a dream is. And I've had dreams before where they actually happen, and I'm writing them down now, and it seems to be occurring a lot of the time. Now, these are not deja vu's. This is like in complete detail. Um, if I write down a dream, it's actually happened. It could be a few days later or so. And um, yeah, so I will make another video about dreams. But guys, look, don't take my word on it. Um, you know, question everything. 
but this is just my views on it um just to wake more people up but do your own research on it as well and and you know see your findings and and you can write in the comments there below but look thanks very much i'll be putting up another video soon and thanks very much for your support